You hear that, people? Beautiful wind on a very beautiful day. One o'clock, about to go swimming, and then probably go down later to the park. Walk around, have fun, hang out with the girl, do my thing. And if you didn't check out the Weapon Wheel podcast last night or last afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, check it out. It's really fun. Not much gaming talk going on, but I thought I did a, thought I did a good job of sort of bring people out of their shell so people can feel more personal and relatable because one thing I've always thought about BG I'm not trying to disrespect that man but I don't find him relatable for anybody else that watches him I find him relatable because you know well I play games and I'm good at games and he's good at games but outside of that we probably have absolutely nothing in common what I wanted to talk about today was simple People scared to be on the Weapon Wheel podcast, and then people acting like this is anything new. The Weapon Wheel podcast is an open invitation to anybody who isn't a faceless clown, a faceless troll that actually has a channel that actually talks about gaming. BG's not picky, BG's not exactly selective, and we wanted a lot of these people to come out earlier, but hey. Guys like Iron Wolf were scared. They didn't want to come out on the podcast because they thought that it would offend their overlords. It would offend their masters. They didn't want to feel like they were biting the hands that feed them. Guys like Black Baron were too scared to come on because he said if he wants to come on, then he wants to bring two of his own hand-picked chosen members of the panel. Which BG obliged and said, go for it. I guess Black Baron didn't expect him to agree with him because Black Baron coward out. Dr. Trey, he doesn't want to come on because, well, you know, the podcast is about gaming, talking about gaming and gamers, and somebody who obviously doesn't know much about gaming, doesn't know much about experiencing gaming, and has very little skill in gaming, probably wouldn't fit in and would probably get roasted. But the funny part about this whole situation is, is we literally have people afraid grown-ass men afraid to talk about video games over the internet. And how pathetic is that? If Big Gamers Small Talk or any one of these other refugee camp podcasts invited me to go on, I'd go on. I got nothing to hide. I'm not scared of anybody. When Super Brothers invited me on to their podcast, I wanted to go on, but, you know, they were cowards and they didn't want to talk to me. So, it is what it is. And when I'm talking about talking to people, I am talking to people about gaming. If you have any personal beef and you are a faceless clown who's too scared to ever show their face on camera that wants to debate me about, like Hard 8 said, God knows what, like what is your topic about debate? Because debating about me and your crying tears and emotional grievances about me isn't exactly what I call a topic of discussion. But hey, that's you, you do you. I'll do me. I'll relax. I'll sit poolside, enjoy this nice, beautiful, bright day, and do all the things I like to do because it's summer and it's fun and life is freaking good. But again, how you are a grown ass man and are afraid to join a podcast is beyond me. How you are a grown ass man, grown ass man, I'm sorry, excuse me, and you can't show up to talk to other people because you're afraid it will offend other people you've never met in the real is well beyond me. People can like me, people can hate me. Bottom line is, on the weapon wheel, I keep it real. And if you're not real, then guess what? You get called out on it, just like me getting called out last night when I thought that the Bronx was short for Brooklyn. Yes, I will hold that L, I will hold that loaf, and I will eat it, because that was a dumb thing to say, because I was misinformed and uneducated on the subject matter. But apparently, Unlike other people, I am not scared to go out and talk to people. People that actually have something to talk about. So there's really nothing else I can say is that people have had open invitations, people have declined. We've had people like Slow Stopper on here, they were on here, they said it was okay to be on here, but then apparently it hurt other people emotionally, deep. And then it caused people to make multiple videos spanning 15 minutes each on why he shouldn't be allowed to talk to other grown-ass men on the internet, only for them to come around and realize how dumb and stupid they were acting, for them to turn around and say that, oh, 
It was a joke. We weren't playing. We weren't being serious. We were just playing. It was all... No. Stop it. Nobody's making four videos spanning 15 minutes each your max upload length during a suspension, during a copyright strike for something you're playing around with. You were definitely serious. You were dead serious. And unfortunately, this internet stuff actually hurts people's feelings. So that's really all I have to say today, people. Maybe I'll make another video tonight. I do want to make a video talking about Ubisoft and... I am very happy that Ubisoft is following Activision Blizzard and these instant ban hammers that deserve to be given out. And for all you losers and social rejects talking about how Blizzard is totalitarian and they're running a dictatorship and they're anti-consumer, no. They are pro-consumer. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you get caught hacking a game, you should be banned from everything. You should never be allowed to play a game. Ever. Again.